Yeah, on the first question, we are asked to calculate the specific weight, the density, and the specific gravity. If the oil has a volume of 8 meter cubed and it weighs 48 uh, kilonewtons. So we know from our previous video that um, specific weight is a ratio, it's a ratio of weight over volume. What, what are we given? We are given the weight, which is 48 kilo, kilonewtons. And we're also given how much the, the volume of the oil is, which is eight meter cubed. So now we can calculate how much is the specific weight, which is the first question. So it will be the, the weight of the oil, which is 48 kilonewtons, this one, divided by eight, which gives us six kilonewtons per meter cubed, which is the specific gravity of uh, oil. We are also asked to find the density. We know the density is the ratio of mass per unit volume, right? We also are aware that weight is equal to mass multiplied by gravitational acceleration, which is G. So we know the density is mass over volume. We don't have a mass, but we can calculate it. We can calculate how much mass is because we know the weight of the, of the oil. So we'll divide uh, 48 kilonewtons, which is the weight of the oil, divided by gravitational acceleration, which is 9.8. 81, and then we get the mass. From there, we plug in the mass, which is 4,892.97 divided by eight meter cubed, which is the volume that we are given initially. So we get uh, the density as 611.62 kilograms per meter cubed, right? We're also asked to find the specific, gra specific gravity. We know the specific gravity, it's a, it's a, specific weight of a substance, in this case, which is oil, divided by the, the specific weight of water at four degrees Celsius. So we calculated the density. So gamma is equal to rho by G, right? So it's rho G divided by rho G of water. It would be rho G of oil multiplied by rho G of water. The gravitational acceleration is the same. So now we got the density as six, 611.62 kilograms per meter cubed, and then we divide it by, by 1,000, which, um, which is the density of water at four degrees Celsius. So the specific gravity of this oil is 0 0.61. So that's the first question. The second question, we are, we are told that the hydraulic braking system of a motorbike is filled with 500 milliliters dot four brake fluid, having a specific weight of 8,600 newtons per meter cubed. So we are asked to find the, calculate the relative density. So the relative density or the specific gravity is the, is equal to the density of the brake fluid in this case, divided by the density of water. So now we need to calculate how much is the density of this uh, brake fluid. We, are, we know that uh, we're given the specific weight, which is 8,600, we plug here. We know, uh, I'll plug in the link from our, our, previous, uh, our previous video where we talked about the definition of uh, this fluid properties. So we know rho g is equal to the specific weight. And we're given the specific weight is 8,600 is equal to rho g. We know the gravitational acceleration we can find the density. So after finding the density, we can now calculate how much the relative density or specific gravity is. So it will be the density of the black fluid that we, we, we caught, which is 876.66 kilograms per meter cubed, and then divided by 1,000, which is the density of water at four degrees Celsius, which gives us 0 0.877. And the last part, we are asked to find the weight of the oil. So we know from this formula, we, we make uh, weight the subject of the formula. So it will be the specific weight which we are given, which is 8,600 newtons per meter cubed, multiplied by the volume of water. I just converted this uh, 500 milliliters to meter cubed. So it, it converts to 0 0.005 meter cubed. And then we find that the weight of the oil is 4.3 newtons. And that's about it, I'm out. Please hit the subscribe button and like the video.